Hey, this is Dorlene, and today I'm working on my jelly plate to create some interest on some white cardstock snowflakes that I cut using my Cricut. I'm working on the gel plate. You add some kind of medium, some kind of wet medium, and in my case, I'm using acrylic paint. I'm just using standard apple barrel, whatever, 50 cents a bottle paint that you can get from Walmart or Roy anywhere. Um, I knew I wanted the combination of blues, and I had like a marina mist, which is like a light teal, um, some silver, because I wanted some color on the snowflakes, but not an overbearing color. So when I first put that bright blue, it was way too bright, and that's why I used that paper that's over to the left to kind of lift off some of that color. And then by adding more wet medium, which I'm doing with that teal paint and also this silver um, ink, it's adding the wetness. So when I put the snowflakes on and make a print, which is what it's called when you put paper on it and then pull it, um, I'll get a more subtle look. So I, you'll see me put the paper on there, you'll, you'll pull it up and you actually get to see what it looks like. The thing that's fun about working with the gel print or gel plates is that you don't really know what you're going to get until you do your pulls. So in this case, um, you can see me being very careful because that paper is getting a little bit of moisture on it. So it's going to be easier to rip and I don't want to rip these, but, um, I just keep adding paint and I'm just going to keep on adding the colors, the ink, uh, the silver ink until I'm able to put color on all four snowflakes. If you like this project, please give me a thumbs up. And if you're not already, please subscribe to my channel um, by hitting the subscribe button below and also the bell if you'd like to be notified of any of my future videos. If you want more in information on this project as far as paint colors and just kind of what I've used and what I did, I also add that information on my blog, which is www.craftsinthecommandcenter.com blogspot.com. Please leave me a comment below or on my blog if you have any questions or um, any recommendations on what I could have told you a little bit more about or maybe some more processes. I, I'd appreciate any um, constructive criticism. Um, so thank you again for that. Uh, so yeah, again, I'm just going through my snowflakes. I'm putting down um, that paper again that I'm using the one that's over to the left is just a scrap paper that I had. As a matter of fact, I think it's a Denny's menu um, because now everything's on, you know, pa throwaway paper menus when you go to a restaurant. Um, but I will use that for something else. So, you know, for people who, you know, toss things like this or or wash their plate between um, layers, it, it drives me nuts because there's just all this medium that's just so pretty. Um, one thing you'll notice me doing is seeing how I'm going back through the the um, snowflakes and kind of adding color where I feel like there's too much white and see all that good goodness that's still on that plate. So I'm adding more wet medium, which is the acrylic paint. And I'm just grabbing a plain white piece of eight and a half by 11 cardstock because I'm going to pull that print and you're going to see it. And it is gorgeous. I cannot wait to use it. And I use these a lot on card backgrounds. I use them in my junk journal. Um, you know, you can even use in your scrapbooking, but look at that, how you even get the impression of the snowflakes on there. I just, I uh, oh, just love that. So um, there's a lot of paint that's still on that plate. So I'm just going through and just trying to grab some before I actually clean it. Um, I could leave it like this and maybe for another project later, but when I'm really done for the day, I will completely clean my jelly plate, my gel plate. Um, so now I'm just scoring. Uh, I think I mentioned earlier that I added score lines to these snowflakes because I need to make sure that they are folded the same because they are going to be adhered together. And um, you won't see me do all four, but... Um, you know, you'll see me kind of reinforcing, I think, the first one and the last one. But I just use my bone folder to just really crease those folds. So I'm going to be using a liquid adhesive to adhere these all together. My um, liquid adhesive, gosh, my tongue tied, that I use is Nuvo. I do like using this because, one, it has a fine point, And two, the Nuvo is made for paper so you won't get that warping like you would if you use like a tacky glue or an Elmer's glue or something like that. Now I do recommend that you do use a liquid 
glue for this type of project because as you notice, you can see me fussing, that these need to be glued exactly on top of each other because that's how you'll make the three-dimensional um, bow. So if you used a double-sided tape, let's say, you wouldn't be able to fiddle with it before it dried. Basically, where it landed, that's where it would stick. Um, I'm using my brayer to just in reinforce those folds and I'm opening it up just to kind of show you, ooh, look at how pretty, that's what it's gonna look like. And then I realize this thing needs some sparkle. So um, uh, I do that, I add some Color Shine, which is from, from Fun Stamper's Journey, which is now, um, oh, I'm drawing a blank, but I'll put that in my blog, the company they are now. But um, that bottle has some watered down acrylic white paint that I've just made my own um, and then I, splattered or um all over the sink because I wanted just big drops of white um and then that with the sparkle it, it just really it's, it's just so pretty so I hope you like it please give me a thumbs up if you do please subscribe if you're not already a subscriber you can leave a comment below if you have any questions or over on my blog which will be at the in the comment section at the bottom below <laughs> this video Thank you so much. Have a happy holiday. Merry Christmas. Bye.